Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you make me feel so awkward. So who are we saying this to? Our friends and our family? Yeah, that's because that's, uh, that's who keeps on asking. Well, I don't know. Okay. So the story of your name started a long, long time ago when I was a little girl. My grandma introduced me to the most consistent thing in my life, and that would be God. And we would go to church every single Sunday. Well, I would go with her every Sunday. So sometimes when life would get tough, like as a kid, she always um, would tell me to read the word. And one time she wrote on a little piece of paper that said, Read Psalms 23 every day. So I used to read the book of Psalms. I started in Psalm 23, and then I just started to explore other um, chapters in the book. And I came across this word, and I never really thought about the meaning of it until I was older. So the meaning of this word means to pause, or it could mean to pause and praise, or it could mean to pause, praise, and reflect on what's been previously said. In other words, just the baby's name means pause. Pause, granddad. Or to pause and praise, or to pause and reflect, which, which we'll let her choose, whatever she wants her name to mean. It's a Hebrew word. Okay, and so some of y'all might may have already guessed it, but I'm gonna continue on with this story. You think people would have? Oh, sorry. Some is, people, some people read the Bible. <laughs> I know, but like that deep, because is that is is it like like this is an important word, like or is it just a word? It's just it's in there a few times. Okay, all right. So fast forward to my twenties. I got married to this handsome fella right here. Lucky you. Mm-hmm. And um, two years later, was it two years? Almost two years, yeah, almost two years later, we got pregnant for the first time, and we were super excited about it, and unfortunately, it ended in miscarriage a couple months later, like 10 weeks into the pregnancy, but um, after that, we got pregnant again, like four months after, um, like looking back on it, those four months went by really, really fast, Very fast. Um, but in the process of trying to get pregnant again, it seemed like a long time, to me, anyways, but he was probably enjoying it, because, hey, hey. You know, how you know how to make a baby. Ah! Oh, so, so fast forward to this pregnancy, um, being pregnant, 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 pregnant again after a loss. I had a lot of worries, and so like, I had a lot of anxiety that this this one wouldn't work out. That like this one wouldn't happen you know what I mean and so like a couple of weeks before my um sonogram whenever I was like maybe nine weeks pregnant with her I had this dream (laughs) when you're pregnant you have vivid vivid dreams and you also forget what you're gonna say all the time right so during pregnancy you have these vivid dreams and I had this one dream um about my grandma's mom and so like my grandma's mom passed away when my grandma was younger. I think maybe like 14. And so like in this dream, uh, my grandma's mom was in the room with my grandma's aunt and like my family was standing outside the door. And I was like, what are they What are they talking about? And like, I had never met her before. So I was like, I've never met her. So I'm about to go in here and see who, like see who she is and get to know her. So I went in, um, opened the door. The room was kind of dark and moody or whatever. But I remember I went in, I went in and hugged her. And like, I felt my spirit basically like lift up and just feel happy and I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but in the dream she looked perfect. And she said, um, she was like, it's okay, I understand. And she was like, but this one will be okay. Which will go back to the meaning of to pause and think about what has been previously said. So if you haven't guessed it by now, our daughter's name, you want to tell him? Yeah, I tell Okay, him. you tell him. It's Sela. Yeah, Sela. S-E-L-A-H. It's a Hebrew name. So people pronounce it differently. I've heard it pronounced Sela, Sela, but we're country. Yeah, um, I, <laughs> I don't, well, especially him. I'm not that country. So we're going to go with I'm the not, Americanized way I'm and not, say Sela. I'm not that country. <laughs> 
So yeah, that's her name. Her name's Sayla. And you want to tell them her middle name? Ray. Yeah. Yeah. So Franklin if, picked out the middle name. So it's so cute, right? Sayla Ray Williams. Sayla Ray. So yeah. So now y'all can stop wondering what her name is. We low key, well, I low key thought about waiting until she was born to tell everybody, but. I don't see I don't see the point of waiting that long. So. Nah, I mean, I don't think I could have waited either. I feel like it would have slipped out. Yeah, and at some point you would have been like, okay, look, forget the video. Exactly. Forget her name the, is Sayla. Yeah, just... here, forget, forget the reveal. I'm tired of everybody asking me. Here, yeah, because a lot is. of people were asking. Exactly. So now y'all know. So spread the word. The baby's name. Yeah, her name is Sayla. Sayla. So you can tell all your cousins and your friends and your aunties and your uncles. Oh, my God. <laughs> her name is Sayla Ray. So yeah, we hope y'all enjoyed this video and we will talk to y'all soon. See ya. Peace.